here we go, Rick. Uh, Do you know why we're here? Why are we here? We are here because we are IHWE alumni. Joseph Swolsef Hollingsworth. Well, this is uh, Joseph, Joseph Swolsef Hollingsworth, right? Very fitting name. He's a big lad. Me being a sports agent myself, I'm constantly scouting talent. Scouting them out. Now, when you were at IHWU you there as a talent, I uh, called a match with Smokey Rob Moore. I think 2000. 12, 2011, I was there. You were there as a competitor around the same time, correct? Right, correct. So this is a showcase of two of the young the students that they have coming from the school. Uh, both of these guys have been uh, training about five years, from my understanding. IHWE, get back out there. And his opponent. Races. Now this young man right here, Angel Omega, David Fuller, Vengeance David Fuller, told me about five years ago this guy was carrying planks in. He said, this is going to be one of my star students. So he's been grinding ever since, right? Man, big honor coming from one of the most well-respected guys in the state of Texas, David Fuller. He says you're a big time player, you're a big time player. Now Joseph. Joseph took some time to focus on fitness, uh, some other things, right? Right. Took some time off, as people are known to do. Right. And uh, is, is coming back, right? He, he conquered that world, coming back to the wrestling world. Now, that must not have sat well with, with, with Angel here. Oh, no. No, indeed. Originally, they were scheduled to have a lottery to see who would can be here. <laughs> At that lottery, Angel jumped Joseph Collinsworth. But... Uh, and this decision was made just to go straight with this match. Obviously, there's animosity. Obviously, they have to work some things out. So, uh, you know what that's like, man, being in the in the yeah. in the gym, in the dojo, if you will, and yeah. maybe you don't see things like that. You guys ever put the the boxing gloves on, and settle some stuff? No, we never put the boxing gloves no, no. on. We just, you know, ring the bell and wrestle a match. And, you and know, figure it out, right? Just figure it out. Yep. That's what the ring's that, for. That's what we're gonna look at right here. Indeed. Two of the the young students from IHWE. Figuring it out, if you will. They have the opportunity of a lifetime on the biggest show of the year where nine other promotions around the state of Texas. A lot of eyes on this uh, figuring it out, right? Indeed. Now, both have an amateur wrestling background, so I think right, you know amateur wrestlers. Oh, yeah. You, you were an amateur wrestler, right? Exactly. Yeah, there's some ego there, right? Yeah. If you know another guy's an amateur wrestler, what's the first thing you're going to do? You want to test him out. You want to see if you can get in there, get that takedown. And exactly. I think that's what we're seeing right here, right? I mean, in this scenario, my money's on Swanson. You think? Yeah. He's, he's built, man. But I don't know. Angel's got some dog to him, I think, man. Yeah, you know, I, I've been in that scenario plenty of times. You know, being in wrestling training, you're the only, you're the only Matt tactician there is. And then another guy shows up. Yep. All right, let's let's see let's see if you're as good as you say you are. Yep. Let, let, let's figure it out, right? Right. Here we are. So IHWE, the the oldest promotion represented here, yes. 1998 it started as a hardcore backyard promotion, um, legit in the back of David Fuller's uh, backyard. Um, and like some of the names that have come through IHWE, tense situation here. But yeah, I mean you're talking about Rodney Mack. The Red Dog, right? You're talking about the Kongs, right? You're talking about Jazz, uh, the Necro fucking Butcher, man. Wow. We're in Texas. We're in, we're real close to Humble, where he uh, he made quite a name for himself, right? Um, and then later on, you had uh, the likes of Jimmy Jacobs. You had uh, Thomas Shire who got his start in Texas down there. You see what Thomas Shire's doing up in the St. Louis territory now. And then. Uh, you know, a, a staple of the Dallas Fort Worth area, a guy like Mike Fox. I know when I was up there, the big it was between him and Showtime Scott Summers, they were trying to kill each other. A lot like Collinsworth and Omega are trying to kill each other right here. But yeah, IHWE, if you don't know, has been an incubator territory for a lot of the top talent that's come out of Texas. A lot of the guys that you see, 
when I was up there, I was calling a match between uh, a, a young lady named Julie May, who has uh, since focused on the nursing career, uh, Rachel Summerlin, who a lot of you guys may know, and uh, a, a young lady named Athena, who you may know as uh, Ember Moon now. So um, constantly going out looking for those next up and coming stars. That's a, I, I have a lot of respect for that. That's a lot of what, uh, what Inspire tries to do as well. So cheap plug because i got to get my promoter on. We'll be up next with a big, yeah. big three-way I'm very excited about. I'm really looking forward to that big three-way. Yeah, guys like Johnny Bedlam, Christian Box, and Chaka Poppy. Oh, I am stoked. I have, I've scoured. I'm a big scout. You're, you're a talent agent. I'm a big scout. I like to scout. Um, very pumped to find these talents. So I'm going to admit doing a little bit of scouting right here on these two ISWE prospects. This match broke down pretty quick. It, you, you can tell there's history here. These two know each other. Angel Omega was getting out wrestled, and he just chose to haul off a slap. Explosive here. Now it's just broken out into an all-out fight. And yeah, we talked. We, I refer to Angel Omega as a student. You, you kind of know when you're at home, you're always a student of that place, right? But right. this guy's got some tread to him, right? Uh, this is a guy that has uh, has taken on Barrett Brown. He's taken on Fuego de Sol. Speaking of guys getting their names out there, you know, if you're watching the New Japan Strong, you've seen Barrett Brown out on those programs. Fuego de Sol, he, uh, you know, any of the dark AEW shows, you're yeah. probably seeing him on, as well as the main shows now. A lot of, a lot of Texas talent getting out there. Most humble, Fuego de Sol. This is, this is indeed the hotbed of independent wrestling. The Angel has really attacked the, the knee here at Collinsworth. I mean, you have to wonder: is there is there is there something that he knows that nobody else knows, right? Because when you when you're in the gym together, you know you know where they're putting the KT tape on, you know where they're putting the fucking Ben Gay on, right? All right. Who knows you better than guys that you train with day in and day out, right? Angel has indeed studied this guy. Yeah, they've probably been buddy buddy at one point or another, but it's like, yeah, I'm looking. I'm, I'm analyzing you so I can take you out one day. You know how wrestlers is. This guy went off and was a big fitness guy, right? Mm -hmm. I, you know, um, fitness competitions, all that, while, while Angel sitting there grinding in the back of the car, eating corn nuts and fucking Powerade, right? <laughs> Trying to make it through road trips. You know how that shit goes, man. Yeah. You know? Um, you know homeboy's, you know, eating his keto diet and fucking getting ready to <laughs> pose and as you know, is his underwears, man. Like, you know how wrestlers get. Like, there's probably some jealousy there. Let's see if it's, this knee is going to hold him back. Oh, little ah. stutter step there, though. Little stutter little step. Steps. And, like, you know, right? Like, you know they've touched. They've, they probably am interested in practice. If, if he's the better athlete, Angel knows. And if he's the better athlete, that's exactly what you got going on here. He's trying to take his legs. That's, that's the fuel to the fire right yep. there. Whoa. Oh, big time spine buster. I don't know if he landed on that knee or not. Sometimes Sometimes took all, all, the, all that on his back. I, I'm honestly a little surprised he didn't drive the air out of him. Oh, man. Head first into the turbo. turbo. His head cracked. His feet are on the ropes. Oh, wow. Hey, Eddie Guerrero was there. Wow. You ain't, you ain't cheating. You ain't trying. Make a name for Angel yourself. Omega. Now, I don't know how that's going to sit with two guys from the same class, from the same gym.